else do we miss oh my god wow what a do we miss okay if you're looking for that do we miss like if you thought the next one was doing this right here if you don't like do it do it baby don't go for the do it because it's not gonna look good on you you're not gonna like that but me i love that i live for the do it life so i love it. and yes today we're talking about setting sprays I'm gonna talk about all the setting sprays that you just saw on the thumbnail and so if you're interested yes guys I tested all of them okay I know you guys may see my videos and be like does she really test these things out yes I do I really do it takes me a long time so I've had these sprays for so long and then it's just now that I'm doing the roundup so if you want to know what I think do stay tuned the timestamp will be on screen I always introduce myself in French first and I'll see you guys very soon please do stay tuned guys thank you so much donc voilà salut à tous bienvenue sur ma chaîne et aujourd'hui on parle des setting spray en anglais et en français je pense bien qu'on dit les sprays fixateurs pour le maquillage donc ce sont les sprays qui vous aident à, à, à enlever l'effet poudreux sur votre maquillage après avoir fini ou deux fois aussi ça aide aussi comme une base il y a tout sorte tout type ça dépend de ce que tu veux ça dépend aussi du type de peau donc si ta peau est huileuse une combinaison sèche normale à sèche ou très sèche ça dépend euh, donc il faut vraiment savoir qu'est ce que l'on veut avant d'acheter euh, ces, ces sprays fixateurs ou setting spray en anglais donc euh, aujourd'hui je vous présente beaucoup de spray fixateur euh, et oui j'ai bien essayé tous les sprays et ça m'a pris vraiment longtemps donc je vous donne mon opinion um, tout à l'heure euh, tous les détails seront en anglais comme toujours euh, veuillez patienter et vous savez bien que je mets toujours les liens de tous les produits sur mon blog et le lien est sous la barre d'infos et aussi si vous avez des questions n'hésitez pas des commentaires n'hésitez pas des suggestions ou des mots d'encouragement pour moi je suis très heureuse de vous écouter donc merci encore de patienter et n'oubliez pas toujours de prier le bon dieu et on se voit à la prochaine merci encore ciao les amis bye All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you so much always for staying tuned. And like I said, we're talking about setting sprays today. They have different types for different reasons and for different skin types. So it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for uh, a refresher, a setting spray, or a fixing spray. So they're all different. And also it depends on if you have normal skin, normal to dry, combination, oily, or what or acne prone it all depends so you really need to know what you're looking for and what your um your skin concerns are and you can really gauge how to shop for setting sprays so without further ado we're gonna get right into them and all the links for all the products will be listed down in the down bar and if you have any questions comments suggestions or any encouragement for me i'll be glad to hear from you down in the comments all my social media links are also down below thank you guys for watching so let go all right guys so we're gonna start with the infamous okay the urban urban decay all nighter setting spray i actually got this on sale at Ulta. you guys know i always get things on sale I don't know how to buy things full price. I usually get them 50 off or when they have like random sales or 20% off. So it all depends. And this is just the backup I just got like two months ago. This is just the travel size. You guys already know there's a bigger bottle and I got this. And believe it or not, this is also good for normal to dry skin, which is my skin type. And I really, really like this. It does exactly what it says. It melts your makeup in. It really extends it. It makes it look less powdery. Again, this is a really good setting spray i do believe a lot of the claims here are true after my experience with it i actually have three there's the baby size and then the travel size but these are both empty okay so this one is empty this is also empty and i just got this one so that's how good they are i really really love this and i always find 
them on sale or whatever i don't buy them full price i actually got this one as a duo um at sephora sometimes sephora during the holiday season they have like really great holiday gift sets and I, I always tell you guys to always buy it during that time and i got both of them and this one is this is the urban decay hydra charged complexion prep priming spray i really really like this it smells like coconut but it's not too strong um it's very soothing as you apply i love to apply this before i put my makeup on i actually oh guys i love this so much but it's so pricey I, I actually also use this to set my makeup believe it or not i think it's just as good guys the urban decay line oh it's so good and also the skin denavia one too is really good so if you're interested in that too i think you should also test those out they're really good especially if you have oily skin the one for oily skin is excellent i heard so i've also tried it and i think it was good the first time i used it i used it with the wrong foundation so i felt like it was oxidizing a little bit so i may have sold it but i'm thinking of rebuying it now that i'm more comfortable with makeup i think I'm, i might see a different result so let's definitely try the skin denavia as well i think it's a great great spray I definitely recommend the urban decay all nighter setting sprays and also the hydro charged the Hydra Charge Primer Spray. We have the Mario Bat De School Facial Alloy. These are the facial sprays with alloy, herbs, and rose water. And this one is with alloy, cucumber, and green tea. So these are two different types. They have different scents now. They have so, so many. And I love this because it's more of like a, this is a skincare spray. It's not, it wasn't made for setting or before um, makeup application, but it happens to be that these work great before makeup application. They work great as a skincare um, addition. And they also work great as a setting spray. And also and also they work great as a refresher throughout the day and they're just so affordable and i always get these during the ulta 21 days of beauty because they always have them on sale sometimes or i get them when ulta has um the 20 percent off sale i use my coupons and i grab these these are amazing as you can see bloop, 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 bloop. it's all empty love it love it love it gotta have it all the time morphe setting sprays you guys know i had to have it when I first tried this I was a little bit underwhelmed because I felt like it was so lightweight and I also felt like it would finish so fast because I felt like I was spraying it and it wasn't coming out enough so I just kept drenching my skin my face with it and I felt like I was gonna finish one bottle in one day but actually a little goes a long way just do one time and you're good two times if at most and i think it's a great price and i in the ulta ulta coupons work on these the 350 of 15 are a great way to stock up on these i love them it's a great innovation it, i haven't seen anything like this in makeup and it's great for traveling because of the packaging and also it, it's like an aerosol spray so it's almost like a deodorant spray or a hairspray but it's for your face um, I love that it's so lightweight it doesn't leave any residue on your skin I love love that like the Urban Decay sprays and the, the Mario Brothers School don't leave residue on your face at all so those are thumbs up these are also amazing this one is empty right here and this is my backup I just got this like a month ago and guys i actually used this one today i just love it and that's just the the spray um nozzle right there so definitely definitely great one to have for the price so. <clears throat> next we have the maybelline master fix setting spray this one is also great it's the aesthetic right here amazing it's good it doesn't get dirty i love when things are easy like this i love when makeup companies get it us that do makeup every day we like things to look nice and clean no stains this is great and the spritzer is amazing it doesn't leave any residue on my skin it does have alcohol in it it smells strongly of alcohol so if you're not into that i wouldn't buy it but other than that yeah 
alcohol is one of the main ingredients i just looked in the back and yeah it smells strongly of alcohol like when you first open it that's like the first thing that will knock you like hmm and but it's really really good though so if you were looking to try the master fix by um maybelline i say go for it i didn't even know that they had some so when i saw this in the drugstore i was like let me try it somebody might want to know about it so yeah this is a good one to have as well it does prolong your makeup very much so so mm -hmm. same thing the packaging the aesthetic is great this one is the l'oreal infallible makeup extender setting spray and same thing here alcohol is the main ingredient and that's the nozzle amazing it sprays very well it doesn't leave any residue on your skin and it just extends your makeup i can't complain i have nothing bad to say apart from the fact that it smells strong of alcohol it will knock you down if you don't like that i wouldn't go for it but it's really really good some people don't like alcohol in their setting sprays or their skincare products so really really good this is actually almost done and so is the Maybelline one because I've been using them for months. So I've had them for a while, like almost a year. So yeah. Of course, we can't forget the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Guys, I think I've used so many of these to be honest. It's actually empty as well. I love this spray. I just don't like the nozzle. If they can change the nozzle, it will be excellent. It's really nice if you're looking for that nice, dewy, fresh looking um, makeup finish. Like, do they call it glass skin? I don't know, glass, gloss, glass. But it's that dewy finish. If you're looking for that, you have no more to dry skin, you can try it out. It's really, really good. I mean, any skin type can use it. It's not like oily, it's just it makes you look a little bit like do it you know what I mean so I like the packaging good on the go as well so I really really do like this yeah aye, aye, aye. this is something that I just discovered and it's crazy it's always out of stock like guys ever since I bought this one like four months ago I think I never ever found it again at Ulta even online it's always out of stock guys it's about four dollars you get like 20% off and sometimes they have like buy one get one 50 plus to 20% off plus to pay 50 off this becomes like two or three dollars like it's already it's like under four dollars already and you get sales on there and then you add coupons on there this is the packaging the nozzle the application they have a they have different types matte whatever you're looking for they have it but this this is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray I think out of all the sprays, believe it or not, I love them all. But because the price of this is the price on this is so small, I think I want to say this is this is a winner. But oh my god, I can't, I can't, I, I, guys, oh my god, I don't know what to say. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I just, it's great for traveling. It's excellent packaging. Excellent nozzle it doesn't leave anything on my skin it's nice and dewy and fresh and my makeup lasts long and it doesn't have i don't think it has alcohol in it because i don't smell any alcohol in it and guys i'm gonna stop talking about it because it's just that good it's just that good oh my god <laughs> okay another mini one here we have the wet and wild photo focus um setting spray this i think this, this is just a regular spray it's not dewy nor matte but it does have a lot of alcohol when you open it, it reeks of alcohol, but the packaging, even though it's white, is very easy to clean. It doesn't really get dirty. The nozzle, excellent, um, and it lasts. Your makeup lasts all day. It's just an amazing spray, amazing spray, but it just has alcohol. So if you don't like alcohol in your setting sprays, you may not like this one. But for the price, for the sale, at CVS on these, I get them almost free, guys. I mean, this is a great one. A great, great one. Ooh. Elf Dewy Mist. Oh my god. Wow. What a dewy mist. Okay, if you're looking for that dewy mist, like you, you thought the next one was dewy, this right here. If you don't like dewy, dewy, baby, don't go for the dewy because it's not gonna look good on you. You're not gonna like that. But me, I love that. I live for the dewy life. So I love this spray. So I think this is coconut. Oh yes, it smells like coconut. It's amazing. I love the packaging. I mean, Elf's packaging is it's like a company where you have no money to buy. You didn't plan on buying. You know you don't need to buy. But the packaging, just the packaging just makes you want to have it. But guys, this is an amazing spray. I mean, even if you have oily skin, you can mix matte and, 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 um, and do it, you know, and make it, you know, a mixture. You don't need to always be matte all the time. You can have matte primer, matte foundation, matte, um, 
out or you need something do it along the way so this is a great addition but like i've always said about elf cosmetics even though their packaging is great they're always coming out with new things affordable it's great for everyone but i feel like the quality is not always great i feel like the quality of the packaging always lets me down like the nozzle sucks I mean it sucks like it sprays waterfall on you like I mean it would drench you but the thing is that it doesn't make your makeup leak or it doesn't leave residue it's just that it, it's just too much it's like it's like a it's like a volcano okay so what I do with this is that I take one of my empty bottles so one of my sprays that has the best nozzle I just dump it in there and use it because I can't use this one it's just too much I can't deal it's like psh, waterfall so no the nozzle sucks but it's an amazing deal it's, and at 50% off when they have their sales or at um, CVS with coupons it's amazing okay amazing I would live past the nozzle because it's that good so yeah don't say I didn't put you on I said it's a must-have yeah now we have the Smashbox photo finish primer water I always like a, a spray that will be multi-purpose so this is an amazing one like I told you guys in the past video I got this on sale for half off at Ulta I always check their website they always have deals here and there and this is one of them and I love this okay great for before makeup application great for setting and refreshing so it's great if it's on sale grab it you won't regret it so yeah I, guys I just I like it it really really does um, help with your makeup you know long longevity prepping refreshing it doesn't mess up your makeup so it's a great one to have as well so yeah the pixie vitamin makeup mist I hate the nozzles on these. I did a video on all the Pixie setting mists already that I've tried. I'll link it down below. I did a video on them and yes, they are good, but I like some more than others. And this one, I love. I think it's so amazing. I use it to refresh. I use it to set my makeup. I use it before my makeup application. It's just an amazing spray. I mean, whatever it says it does, it does it. And that's why it's great. I just wish the nozzle was excellent, but as you guys see, it's empty. I've used it up. I love it. I would repurchase this. Even without any coupons at Target, I think it's amazing. The vitamin makeup mist has to be like one of my favorites. It's so, so good. Like, I love this one, okay? I got this on with the coupon from Target. Target always has deals, coupons, so that's when I grabbed all of these. They were amazing. Next, my other favorite one from Pixie is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. And this one, again, hyaluronic acid is one of the main ingredients. I love that. It's very hydrating, but it does leave a residue on your skin because the spritzer sucks. The nozzles on these are just awful. Um, I had to pour them out and put it in a different bottle to use them. But this is a great one if you're looking for hydration throughout the day before you start your makeup. It's so amazing. I love this one. So if you want to try it, don't say I didn't put you on. It is amazing. Yeah. Last but not least, we have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Y'all already know. I had to have it. It's amazing. It sets. It refreshes. You can use it before makeup application. It's the OG. I don't have to say much about it. You guys already know it is bomb. I think I got this during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, beauty one year when it was like on sale for like half off. So I got it and I love it and I would repurchase it again. I think this year is also on sale but the, they have different flavors or different scents. So if you're interested, Ulta is having a sale but it's not the original, it's the different flavors. So for instance, I have the minis here guys i also finished all these minis guys um don't mind this one once this was empty i poured something else in here to use it that's why it's messy but they're all empty all all four bottles are empty i love it i i, I did a video on these i got this from i think it was um nordstrom rack and they always have like high-end and luxury makeup on sale there or just anything on sale there and i usually go there and grab some things i, I did a video on this it was like 11 dollars, i think or 15 dollars for these three it was so good to try this this one is the the rose scent um this one is the lavender and i believe this one is the coconut so they're all empty like i said I love these. These are amazing. I'm not a fan of the spritzer as much. I wish it was a little bit better, but hmm, the product is good. So we would, you know, recommend it. It's amazing. So 
Um, yeah, that's the MAC Prep and Prime setting sprays right here, and they're all empty. So there you go. All right, guys, I know it was a very, very long video, but I hope this helped you. These are all the um, setting sprays that I've been enjoying in the past year or so. And I do have a couple that I didn't like. I don't know if I should post a video on them. I'll think about it. I might post a video on them, but here are my favorites. My favorites thus far that I've enjoyed. So let me know what you think about them, if you try them, if you will, or if you have other ones to recommend. I'll be so happy to hear from you. Thank you so much again. Um, don't forget to always praise God, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Mwah. Ciao, guys. Bye. So when they put you to the test, just do your best And let God do the rest And enemies stress I'm a living witness, I'm the proof Nothing is impossible and that's the truth You can achieve if you plan to If I can make it, man, you can too